Hey folks and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. Uh, winter is finally breaking here in Newfoundland. We're feeling some spring weather here. It's actually 10 degrees today Celsius. So uh, that's kind of a, a change for us. Breezy though. Soon as the sun comes out we get the wind. So hopefully the mic isn't too compromised by that. And I'm out here today because I'm going to prepare my backyard putting green for the season. I'd just like to demonstrate what I do to prepare it, uh, keep it in good condition and maintain it for the season. Now this is an artificial turf. Now there's a reason for that. We have a, a pretty short growing season here in Newfoundland and uh, you know it's I find it very difficult to even maintain this lawn with weeds and everything so I didn't want all that maintenance. Uh, plus I wanted the opportunity to play on this green in the early season when there's still snow around in the yard and everything and uh, also later into the fall when growing has stopped so it gives me a little bit more time to practice on the green with this artificial turf and today I'm going to go through the process of uh, cleaning some of the debris off with a leaf blower I'm going to roll it to take out any kind of imperfections that frost might have caused or something uh, I'm going to sweep the turf to try and get the grain up and make it feel a little bit more lively and uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of spot treatment and a little bit of prevention of any kind of uh, weeds or moss that might start growing in some of the infill sand. So I'm going to go through that process and show you how I do it. All right, so I'm just sort of walking on the green here. There's some debris here, little needles, pine needles here and there, some leaves, little things that I want to try and get all these little things off the green so I can treat a little bit more. When I roll it, I don't want all that being compressed. We'll start with a little bit of leaf blowing here. I'm not worried about the aesthetic around the green, some of the mulch areas and the plants and different things. I'm gonna take care of that a little bit more into the season. There's no point in spending time on that right now. I'm really just focusing on the turf itself. So let's get started. I got the debris off still you know a couple little remnants here and there nothing major uh, but it's looking pretty smooth I'm actually going to do some modification this year and bring this corner up a little bit it's a little bit too much downhill for my liking so I'm going to lift this end up a couple inches at least uh, you know sometime in the season when it's a little bit warmer and give it some new breaks all right, I'm going to start rolling this green to take out any imperfections that could be underneath there. I'm going to go in several directions just so there's no patterning. Try to give it a nice smooth surface. All right, that was a bit of a workout, but it's not over yet. I'm going to use a stiff bristle brush now to try and get these blades up, standing up. Now the grain of this turf leans this way. I did that on purpose so it was a little bit slower going down the hill. So I'm actually gonna brush into the grain. I'm gonna brush down the grain again, and then into the grain again. Uh, and then I'll probably leaf blow again because that's gonna pull up some of the debris that's settled down inside. And then I'll probably go over it with a soft bristle brush just to uh, help liven it up again. So this is a bit of a workout pushing this thing around. Uh, let's get to it. I don't know if you can tell, but I can see the difference in the color in the grain as I'm going here, and uh, it's really coming to life. It's interesting, you can feel the places where the grain is still a little bit compressed because 
the stiff bristle brush passes through it a lot easier, sort of skims over it, so those spots need a little extra brush. Ooh, I'm working up a sweat. That loosened up some more debris that was embedded in the uh, turf there, so I'm gonna give it another blow, clean it off. Now normally I have to be careful with the leaf blower because you don't want to blow out the, uh, the sand infill. There's some uh, silica sand sitting down there to weigh it down and help the grass stick up. Um, so that's a nice way if I need to even it out, if there's areas with too much sand, I can use the leaf blower. Thankfully this is still, uh, snow was melted here recently, still a little bit wet in the base, so no sand is coming out. All right, that's looking pretty good. I mean, it's a breezy day. It's always breezy here. So leaf blowing, getting the debris off here is kind of a exercise of futility. Okay, it's looking good. One more pass into the grain. All right, let's test it out, see how it's rolling. First one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the downhill there. This is where it gets quick. But it's rolling really nice and smooth. All right, it's rolling pretty good. Let's treat this thing. All right, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a treatment. Uh, last season, near the end of the season, I noticed a little bit of moss coming up, kind of rooting in some of the, uh, the base there, the sand, or even if uh, some of the debris had sort of composted down in there and gave root. So uh, I successfully treated it last uh, season, but I'm gonna give it a once over and look for any spots. I'm using a one-to-one -one ratio of pure white vinegar and water. So half vinegar, half water. Uh, I'm going to go around and hit a couple of noticeable spots first. So right there you can see a little bit of moss. I already treated it last season so a lot of the spots came out. I want to spot treat these things, spray some vinegar and water and give them a brush. Well there's very little spot treatment to do because this worked so well last season. I like using the vinegar and water. My wife and I don't like using chemicals and herbicides and pesticides and things. You can tell because of all the weeds in our lawn. Uh, but this just works so well and it's not, uh, not harmful to the turf and uh, not too bad for the environment. I'm going to give the whole green a once over and then leave it for a little while and then maybe give it a rinse tonight, tomorrow morning. We'll see. All right, well that's that. Looks like I finished before the wind really picked up. It's starting to be gusty now. And uh, I'll spray it again like that in the fall before the winter, or if I notice anything coming up in the middle of the season. Besides that, every so often I'll leaf blow it and give it a sweeping to get the, uh, the strands of grass standing up. And that's how I keep it in good shape. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack. Oh,